In this video, I'm gonna be reaching out to billionaire entrepreneurs I respect, asking them for business advice for both of us. I'm gonna use Instagram, Twitter, email, and some copywriting skills. Let's dive in. All right, so let me just give you a little sneak peek of some of the list of people we're gonna be talking to and hopefully getting uh, recommendations from today. Richard Branson, Mike Tyson, Mark Cuban, Sarah Blakely, Oprah Winfrey, Mark Zuckerberg. I think one of the things that's really important as you're trying to reach out to anyone, plus getting business advice, is what's the medium they're already on and how do you make it exciting for them to wanna to respond to you? All right, I wanna get a hold of Tim Cook. So we're gonna try Tim Cook. What I'm gonna do for Tim Cook is uh, can I actually find the right email address for Tim? So I'm gonna go to a site that I like using called rocketreach.co and actually see if we can look up Tim's email address. So Tim Cook, I actually do not have it. What you can do, right, so I don't find it on rocketreach.co. Um, what I might do as well then is like Apple email address. Uh, I'm looking for the Apple employee email address format. And so if you're looking for like an Apple email address, it's like you wanna find someone that works at Apple just to kind of see what the, the way they structure it. Maybe it's tcook at apple.com. So let's see if we can actually find the company. I'm looking at someone, anyone who works at Apple just to kind of get an idea uh, of how they do. So here's just, just an idea of it. I wanna basically see what's the email address. So it looks like first letter, last name at apple.com is the style that they use. I generally like to send it from my at Gmail. I've noticed sometimes spam stuff is always kind of weird when you send it from from your like at company, at work. I think it goes to spam more often. So let's just send a T Cook email. So what I'm sending him, just to kind of walk you through my line of thinking, is I said, uh, amazing work, Tim, go Tigers. So it's kind of like thing, this might go to spam. And again, one thing I'll do is that I'll put a thing here called, you know, I use followup.cc. There's a lot of tools out there to use it. It's built into Gmail now, but in two days, if I, he doesn't respond, it'll remind me to hit him up. There's also tools that will automate a lot of this if you're trying to do it for marketing or sales or PR or whatever. Uh, but basically I'm saying so impressive what he's done at Apple, compliment. Uh, I grew up actually down the street, which is a true story. So how do you relate to it? And then what's the ask? So I wanted to send you a brief 15 second question on leadership, uh, if that's okay. Be epic. I, I like kind of a thing versus like, Sincerely, truly, was it 1975? All right, so we hit up Tim. So you can email Jeff, it's his email is actually public, it's jeff at, at amazon.com. So here's something crazy, if you actually go on uh, Google, you can look up your Amazon purchase history. Uh, so I have spent over $30,000 last year on Amazon, which is crazy. Um, so I'm actually gonna reference that in the email. So I'm emailing Jeff and I said, quick question for Jeff. Huge Amazon customer, spent over $30,000 last year on Amazon. Wanted to ask what is one piece of business advice that has helped you be successful? Again, I'm gonna follow up in three days. I kind of have a feeling he might respond. I have a hunch. I'm actually, this is getting more and more fun. And I've got to actually warn you, is that when you're reaching out to celebs or influencers or people that are like at these levels, they don't have all the answers for you and they may not be able to help you. And most of the answers that you need are right in there or right in there. So I think I know this for myself a lot of times I'll be like, if they only respond to me, it'll really help me out or give me the funding. They were at your point, they were at your, the same as where you were at one day and they made it happen too. So don't just assume that they're gonna be able to fix your problems. You can do it for yourself. A lot of these times, guys, these go, you gotta be persistent. As my mom says, one of my favorite quotes, the squeaky wheel gets the grease. I think Mark Andreessen, you could email. I don't know if he does tweets, but there's no message here. Uh... I'm actually just gonna search. I'm gonna search Mark Andreessen email address. Let's see if that actually works. Supposedly there's an email address here that you can email and I'm just gonna send, I think what I would recommend for you if you were taking this more seriously and you wanted to do something on your sales or marketing, or whatever, do a spreadsheet and track different messages you're using. So try one with this subject line, one with this, try one with this body and then one with this. And if you do that, you can actually figure out, okay, which message is the most effective. Cause this is marketing, like that literally makes the hugest difference. So I'm asking Mark, quick question Mark, I don't know if this is gonna work, but I kinda wanted to put a little bit of social proof in, uh, saying I help run AppSumo.com, super successful business. What is one business advice for succeeding today? If you like this video and you want more juicy business videos from your Uncle Noah, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I put out three every single week to help you on your business or your side hustle. 
I feel like Ben Ben is more responsive. So he's retweeting, but he actually doesn't reply. So again, that would be tough. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna try to get a hold of Ben Horowitz or Mark Andreessen. Uh, so with Ben Horowitz, I'm just gonna send a photo like this and be like, hey, huge fan of the firm and Warriors, which I know he's a big Warriors fan. So I'm gonna actually message it with him that uh, maybe leverage a little bit the company AppSumo.com. So I help run AppSumo.com. Um, revenue, 100 million revenue business. Uh. All right, so what I said to him, I actually really like this, is I said, I sent a photo of me and I said, huge fan of A16 and the Warriors. I help run AppSumo.com, $100 million revenue marketplace for software. Love to send you one quick question, smiley face. So I'm gonna flag that, put it in there, and I'm all, you know, what I would actually do in this instance if I really wanna get a hold of Ben and Mark, uh, I would directly go and see who already knows him. So who is he following on Twitter? Uh, or I have one of my best friends who works at their venture capital firm or other people who know the firm uh, to see if I can actually get a hold of him through that. Let's actually go through Reed Hoffman. So if someone's a major on one platform, they're probably getting a lot of noise on that platform. So you getting a hold of them on that platform is even harder. So you kind of want to go to where it's a little bit more accessible. So if Reed, you know he's going to be popular on LinkedIn, so I ain't trying to like distinguish it through that. So text messaging, which is way too aggressive for someone I don't know. Because uh, also, you gotta, there's a balance of being creepy. Uh, so I would do that with Reed. I would not do that with Reed. So I would look for more for his email address uh, or DM him through Instagram. So let, I can't see Reed doing this. Oh my God, he's actually on it. There's no way he's like, yeah. So he hasn't updated this in two years. Uh, I'm gonna shoot him a quick question. So I'm actually, this is something that I'm leveraging. Hey, I was number 30 at Facebook. Uh, wanted to send you uh, now see. Oh. I don't know, that's a shitty way I put it, but Reed, I was number 30 at Facebook, now CEO of AppSumo.com. Wanted to send you a super quick question, business question, okay. Let's see if we can find Reed's email. So I think you can find his email, you can find his account. I'm gonna use Rocket Reach here. You can also use other tools. Rocket Reach is just one tool for it. Again, I think with all this stuff, one, use your network earlier. Two, be really clear. Can these people really help you or are you just distracting them and wasting their time? Like how do you make it exciting for them to be excited to talk to you? And then I'd say that as well as like, are you following up with these billionaires? They are really, really busy, but they also have time just like you. And so you do need to follow up and stay persistent. The other thing that I've done in the past, like Mitchell on our team did, is that if you wanna get a hold of someone, like we wanted to do a video with Graham Stefan, as well as we wanna partner with him for AppSumo, is send him snail mail. Let's dive in. Different way than everybody else. Just do that 1% little bit more uh, to see if we can get anyone to bite. So it does look like we were able to find Reed's email address. Uh, I'm gonna shoot a quick email. So I'm gonna reference the Facebook experience for me. Uh, so with Reed, I'm basically saying, yo, Reed, and say, yo, hey, Reed, I was in my Facebook, not sure if we crossed paths. Um, again, with this kind of communication, like get them excited, like, oh, I, there's some level of status that this, these people are similar. I love his podcast, which I really do, and his career. Wanted to ask you quick business advice if you have nine seconds free. Wanted to email you. Wanted to, wanted to ask you quick business advice. You have nine seconds. What the fuck am I saying? Can I ask you a quick business? Can I ask you? What, I'm not even speaking English. Can I ask you a quick business for a question? How much? Can I ask you a business advice for our company? Can I ask you for a quick? Perfect. Let's say what's up to Mark Cuban. Uh, I feel like he's been super responsive if you have an investment in a specific question. Uh, I think the thing here is. Uh, I'm just gonna ask Mark if I could promote him to the audience because it'd be really cool if he actually says yes, plus I can ask for business advice for y'all. Um, so I'm gonna ask him, huge fan of the hustle, can I ask one quick question, but we'll promote to my 250,000 audience. By the way, on Instagram, you can always unsend if you don't really like your message. Uh, don't send multiple messages to these people, they're already crazy busy. 
I'd like to get Sarah Blakely and some of the female entrepreneurs to give some feedback. So I am friends with her husband. I did an interview with her husband on the show, Noah Kagan Presents. I don't feel comfortable, not even comfortable. I feel comfortable asking him if I really wanted it, but I want to make it harder and more realistic, just like y'all. Some of the times what I'm looking for, she posts a lot here, and you kind of want to also see if she's replying to these people. So it does look like she might be replying. And one thing you can do yeah, on these types of activities is uh, look at who's already commenting on her post, and those are people who already know her. The alternative thing you could do is that look who they are following, like so she's following Glennon Doyle, who I like, Zach King, I don't know who he is. I would never be fake, I don't like the fake transactional, hey, you don't know me, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, yo, bro, I can read through the lines. You just wanna get to my woman or my man, uh-uh, uh-uh. So I would actually look for who follows her, and like, I know uh, Bonnie the Food Babe, uh, and I would message like, hey, I'm looking to connect for this specific reason. With this vi video, we're trying to see if we can get some business advice for you and me uh, to be successful. So I'm gonna just send her a DM on Instagram and we'll see how that goes. I will reference that I know her husband. Uh, if you really wanna get a hold of someone, you need to make them excited and honestly kind of do whatever it takes to get to that point. Uh, being mindful of not being a total freak. So I've already actually messaged her, Sarah, love your stuff and your friends with your hubby. I'm gonna literally send that same message uh, right now and just see what kind of stuff, if she actually replies. Um, that's funny that I already messaged her. I mean, again, that was in April, looks like early this year, or potentially last year. Um, and that is interesting, we both follow Kelly Wurstler, she's a designer, I don't know her, uh, but it'd be someone I would ask. Um, these people too, they want to see people earn it. Susan Wajaki, she is the CEO of YouTube. True story. I met her when I applied for a job in 2003 at Google. Uh, I got rejected, go figure. But I met her then, and so it's wild that she's the CEO of YouTube. One thing I did when I emailed her, because there's a lot of YouTube spam comments, I'm sure you guys see it. It's like some fake ass Noah Kogan saying like, hey, send me WhatsApp. I, don't do that. Please don't do that. Uh, but what's interesting is I emailed her as well as I found her Gmail because she works at Google to kind of double like if you really want to get a hold of someone How far are you willing to go in a non creepy way? Um, I, I'm just gonna refer like hey, I emailed you about the YouTube spam comments wanted to get um, a quick feedback for a future YouTube video Wanted to get quick uh, wanted to get get So with her, I'm saying, uh, hey, we've emailed about YouTube Sam comments, had a super quick question. Uh, that would be cool to get her response. She is a billionaire, I think, or at least close to it. Um, what is one thing that you observe for successful YouTube creators? Noah. I do think we'll get a response. I did do a follow-up in two days. So this is the thing, I think a lot of us want that instant gratification. You send a message and you get them to come right back to you. Patience, patience. It's just like, like Alan Iverson. We're talking about practice, man. What? One person I've been uh, really appreciating, I really admire his stuff is David Sachs. So he does have his newsletter uh, on his profile, you can see that. I'm actually connected to him con uh, conveniently on LinkedIn. Um, unfortunately, it does not show his email. Uh, if I message him, let's see if he's responded. I'll just message him on LinkedIn. Um, I don't know if I like this, but it's it's definitely lighter. And these guys are celebs in my world. Like, so some people see a celebrity like, I don't know, Ashton Kutcher or Logan Paul, like to see a David Sachs or, or a Keith Raboy or these people that are the creators or the investors of a lot of the tech that we use to this day, like that's exciting for me. Like meeting a Peter Thiel, which I got to do at Facebook and meet him around that stuff is just like, whoa, how cool is that? So I just sent him that just, you know, kind of something short and sweet. A lot of it is just like, give him a compliment, give him some reason to want to actually respond to you. Um, if I didn't have that connect here, I would look at to see who else I'm connected to with them on LinkedIn uh, as well. I have actually connected to him in the past because he came to my community next conference years ago. Uh, so I would actually see who introduced me to him back then or what email address I had. So Tim Grover was, I believe, Michael Jordan's coach. Um, I haven't read his stuff. And again, I don't like lying like, hey, love your stuff. If you don't actually love their stuff, uh, if you admire it, admire your work. 
I was like using their name, and I like using the fire emoji. Put a little fire on that. So Tim Grover, he wrote Relentless. I've heard a lot of people recommend it. Uh, Michael Jordan's coach, and he's an author. So a lot of times in something like this, I would also try to be like, hey, I want to talk about your book. I want to help you with your thing. Because uh, guys, everyone cares about themselves, just like you. So 48 hours later, we've gotten a drum roll of two responses. Uh, so actually we can check it out. One of the responses is from Tim Grover, Michael Jordan's coach. So on Instagram, we can actually see right here. Uh, I responded with a comment saying, hey, really liked your book. Uh, he said, thank you. So not great. Mm. And, and then Jeff Bezos, no big deal, actually sent me a response and we could pull up the email. Uh, it was from his assistant. I said, uh, she replied, do you know, I hope you don't mind my responding on Jeff's behalf. Not at all. Thank you for your interest in talking with Jeff. Unfortunately, and despite the fact that Jeff loves to discuss business and future, he's a little busy, so he has to decline. Uh, thank you for thinking of Jeff and good luck with your endeavors. That was a great rejection. That was really nice. Uh, if anyone else responds later, I'll update you guys in the comments. Um, a lot of times with these super busy people, they're super busy. And a lot of times, most really busy people aren't actually that busy. But you have to actually make it really exciting for them. You have to follow up and you can't really expect to make big changes or big connections within 24 hours. Uh, some of the biggest connections I made have been through referrals. So Ryan Holiday one day was like, hey, meet Tom Bilyeu from Quest Bars. I was like, I love eating Quest Bars, they're so tasty. You can always ask your network who already knows these people. Uh, my thoughts on this experiment. I thought I'd get a few more responses, but it was also really interesting to think about like how, if I really wanted to get a hold of them, uh, how far would I go? Right? Would I send a care package? Would I go in person? Would I send more gifts? Would I do this over, honestly, like a year? Right? And I think that's a problem that I know I have and a lot of people have, which is we want to make connections. We think their match is going to solve our problems, which they probably won't. Uh, but we also have to be a little patient that to get a hold of these people, you have to go the extra mile and you have to also make it exciting for them to prioritize you in the laundry list of all the things that they have going on in their own life. So some takeaways for y'all. First, these people are busy as hell. I think just as you, you probably have a lot of things going on in your own life. So you do need to do something really special to stand out. Like Jimmy from uh, Mr. Beast, I offered him $10,000 for 10 minutes uh, to talk about our channel. And that's a pretty interesting kind of proposition. We did get some interest in it, it didn't end up happening yet. Uh, but if I really wanted to, that, that is a great way to get a hold of someone. And maybe you're like, well, Noah, I don't have the money yet. That's okay, it doesn't have to be about money. It could be creating something for them like you did a drawing, you did an article, you made a video, you sent them a cake. Uh, but again, it's like, how do you make it exciting for them so significantly that they have to respond to you and follow up with that. I've talked about that earlier in this video. Following up is the most important thing uh, in building any relationships and frankly, almost any success in business. It is much easier to connect with up and comers than these existing people. And a lot of these existing people, as I said earlier, don't have the magical answer for you. Most of those answers are inside, but I would actually try to spend more time connecting with the up and comers and the people that you think are gonna be big or the people that will probably be more available to you now and as they grow and you grow, you have these amazing relationships. It feels like I've had a lot of that uh, in my life with a lot of people you guys know as well. And I said it again, but you don't need these other people. Like the people with the blue check marks don't have all the answers. They're humans just like you and me, and they're figuring it out. Most of these answers are frankly just inside of you. Uh, I think people think, oh, Noah's gonna solve my business, or Elon Musk is gonna give me money to finally help me. Uh, and me and a lot of these people, you have to figure it out themselves. Um, and you can figure it out yourself. I would just take that step back and say, do I really need this woman's advice or man's advice to really fix my problem? The answer is no. You really have it inside of you. You have to give yourself a little more chance, a little more confidence that you can solve for yourself. If you do want to hear the story of how I met Bill Gates and I do networking more specifically on building deeper relationships, check out this video right up here if this is something you're looking at building an amazing network for yourself. And make sure to subscribe to the channel. I know you already are, so you can ignore this part. I love you and I'll see you out there. Pew, pew.